Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and with update 1.23's official release just around the corner. I haven't got a firm date yet, but it's coming up soon, probably early November, um, when the Halloween event stops. I thought I'd do one of my usual, how do you know if your server has been updated to the 1.23 files? What do you do if it hasn't? So how can you how can you install the latest 1.23 mission files? Now, we're mainly going to be concentrating on console in this video. Although, at the end, I will talk a little bit about PC. So we're really talking about Nitrado community servers. So what will happen sometime in the beginning of November, Daisy will release a blog post. Um, they'll probably announce it on their Twitter saying, right, um, Daisy update 1.23 is going live today. Console servers are going down and PC servers are going down at a certain time and they'll be coming up at a certain time. And you'll probably get messages off Nitrado as well saying the same thing. Now, what they're saying at the moment in terms of will there be a wipe, what, what Daisy have said is there's not going to be a, a character wipe, but there will be a map wipe. So what that means is they're wiping all the loot off the map, and I guess all the bases as well, but your character will stay where they are with the gear that they've already got. And they're going to, if you're somewhere where it's been changed up at the Northwest Airfield, your character is going to move slightly. Now that's not something we can really do on console as far as I'm aware of. We can either do a complete server <laughs> reinstall or wipe and that's it. You can't keep your character but keep an eye out. They may well be doing something to do with that. So how do you know? So this will happen. How do you know if your server's been updated or not? Well, what you'll do is if you go to your server's dashboard uh, here, what you're looking for is down here. You'll see it says version. So at the moment, this PlayStation server is version 1.22. So we know it hasn't got the 1.23 files yet. What will happen on update day is that this version will change to version 1.23. However, that does not mean you've got the 1.23 server mission files. Because all that's happened is that Nitrado has updated the daisy server.exe the program that runs the server to the latest version but it won't have put the latest files in that have got all the new bits in in other words you know the m14 dmr rifle that we really want and there's a way that you can check this as well so if you go into your um, server and you go into the file browser um, and then go into the missions folder and then go into say for example churnerus if it's a churnerus server and then go into the db directory and then go into the types.xml so open that up that'll open up and what you're looking for what you'll be looking for you'll be looking for the m14 so you can type control f search for m14 and that shouldn't be there it won't be there to start off with um, so you know you haven't got the latest files you've got the latest server d dot exe but i've got the latest server files so in order to update to the latest server files what we need to do is go into the settings here. So you go to settings general and you scroll down and you're looking for this thing here, reset mission XML to default. And all you do is you tick that and you save the changes. Now we don't do anything else yet. So what this is going to do is that when the server restarts, Nitrado are going to pull the latest 1.23 mission files from um, their repository, I guess, or from Behem Interactive, and they're going to put them onto your server. So what this means is that if you have any modded XML files, say a modded types.xml file or a modded CFG gameplay.json, they're going to be going back to vanilla. So it's very important that before you do this update, you've already created your modded files where you know where you've added things like the the new um, rifle in. So once you're happy and you're ready to go, reset mission and XML to default, tick that, save that, and restart the server. This will take a couple of minutes to do. Once it's restarted, untick it and save it again because you don't want the XMLs to reset every time you, you start. Now what will happen is, if you then go back to your types.xml and refresh the page and do a search again for M14, which is the new DMR, what you'll find then is you'll see the M14. You know you've got the latest um, XML files. You can tell everybody on your Discord or your Facebook group, happy days. We've got the 1.23 update and we've got the 1.23 files. And or at that point, you can then up, up, um, load your updated boosted loot or reduced loot uh, compatible 1.23 files to your server, restart it, and they would then start to take into effect. 
Now, if they do, and they haven't certainly said, but if they do say we want to do a complete wipe, we recommend to do a complete wipe, or you're thinking this is a good time to wipe my server, we haven't had a wipe for a year or so, Let, let's start again. How do you do that? Well, there's plenty of videos out there that show how to do that. I'll, I'll go into it a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to go into uh, config profiles first, and you want to create a new config folder. So config file say, I don't know, November wipe, or I say it probably be like one, two, three wipe, right? And you create that. And what that will then do is, as you can see, it's here. So that then saves things like your uh, server name, server password, or your whitelist, all that sort of stuff. So then what you can do is you then do a reinstall. Now remember, this is this isn't a light thing we're doing now. We're going to be wiping the server, so get, all the players' progresses will be gone, all the gear will be gone, all the bases will be gone. We'll be starting again from fresh. Now, if you do do a reinstall, all that stuff I just said about resetting mission XML through default and all that sort of stuff, you don't have to bother with because as part of a reinstall, they're going to give you the latest um, files. So you do a reinstall. That's going to take a few minutes to do. And then what you'll find then is when you go back to um, the dashboard, for example, for your server, um, you'll have uh, version 1.23. And then when you go into the uh, settings general, what you'll find is it won't have your server name on it. So, for example, for this server, it's 1C Scale Speed of Game of PlayStation, and all your server time multiplier will be wrong. So this is where you then go back into your config profiles, and then your one, two, three, wipe one, you would say restore. And then you would then restart the server. And then you'll find all those sort of things will then be in place and you'll be good to go. And at that point as well, that's when you would then re-upload your 1.23 compatible modded XML files, your modded JSON files to, to make the server the way you wanted it. So that's Nitrado console. Nice and easy for PlayStation <laughs> and Xbox. Now things get a little bit more complicated on PC because we don't have these lovely settings to reset XMLs to default. If you're running a PC server though, you probably had a, quite a lot of experience in, in how to do it. Um, but um, basically what you do is you'll go into your server and this again, this is a Nitrado example, but you would go into the dashboard um, and you would check that your server has been updated to v1.23 um, then you would go into your file browser or use your ftp to download the types that xml just check that the m14 uh, dmr isn't in the types that xml which it probably won't be so then where do you get the latest um, files from so the the place where you get the uh, update uh, 1.23 files from for pc before it goes live so you can be ready to do it is actually on the experimental server so in your steam library if you make sure games and tools are activated and install the daisy experimental server um, and then look at it and go manage um, browse local files you'll have the local server and so within the local within the experimental server you've got all the mission files so daisy uh, um, Generous Daisy Enoch for um, Livonia and so you can upload these via FTP to your server and you'll have all the latest uh, all the latest files so that, that that will then work the other place you can get them from is uh, Bohemian Tractor's official GitHub. Unfortunately, and I'll put a link to this in the description below the video. Unfortunately, though, this normally doesn't get updated till a few days after an update goes live. So it'll be a few minutes, few you know, say. Um, one two three goes live on the eighth of November. This probably won't get updated till the tenth of November because it's a little bit behind the times. Um, and the way you'll know is you'll come over here and you'll notice that the um, date where the uh, basic mission files here were changed will be like two days ago or today or something. And then to get those files, you just click code, download zip on your local PC, extract the file, and you'll see all the mission files then that you can then upload to your PC server. Um, using FTP. So there we go. That is how you know whether uh, update 1.23 has been applied to your server, whether you've got the files, and really, you know, how you update to those update those files so that your server has got the latest mission files on. Right. Okay. Hopefully, this has been useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.